Hey guys, it's Christina. How's it going? So my last teacher video was all on how I plan out a unit. So today I wanted to talk to you about how I plan out a lesson. So once you have your unit all planned out, you will then see some of the different topics you need to cover in the unit. And then you'll just take one topic at a time and you'll turn it into a lesson. Okay, so there's a few things you need to do before you actually teach the lesson. So the first thing I like to do is I like to decide what kinds of materials I'm gonna need for it. So I might need to purchase things or I might need to round up different things around the classroom or I might need to find things online or photocopy. So I get all my materials together. And then I also need to decide how much time I'm gonna spend on each part of the lesson as well so I can have it all planned out because each subject, I usually have a certain amount of time and I don't wanna go over that or, you know, it'll just throw the rest of the schedule off. Okay, so the first thing I look at is an objective. I want the kids to reach by the end of the lesson. I even post this for the kids to see. I actually have a board, it's called Targets, and I have different places to put different targets we're trying to reach for each lesson in each area. So that way the kids know what they need to know by the end of the lesson, and it's very clear to them. It's also clear to me on the things I need to make sure that they're getting throughout the lesson. And when I start off the lesson with that, I either like to start with some kind of a warm up or a review from the last lesson. I also like to have some kind of a hook to really like really pull them into that topic. So if it's math, a lot of times I'll do like a problem of the day and we'll practice something we've done. Just one problem, it's super quick. Or if it's like social studies or science, I'll try to have some kind of a hook. So maybe I'll play a little video clip or I'll show like a little comic that has to do with it or give them an interesting fact or just do something to really catch their attention. Okay, now this is where I get into all of the meat, like the main part of the lesson and I really teach them what they need to learn. So I usually like to put in a lot of strategies and a lot of different realms of learning. So I might do cooperative learning in it. I might use art, music, uh, I might use technology or we might use literature and I'll really teach them some of the stuff they need to know. So that's like the main part of the lesson you want to cover next. And then from there, I'll have them practice a little bit. And this is more with me helping them. It's like a guided practice. So if it's math, maybe they'll get a whiteboard and a marker out and I'll have them go through a few problems with me and I'll just see how they're doing a little bit more on their own, but with me kind of like supervising. So I'll usually have that go probably not as long as the main lesson, but just for a little bit of time. And then from there, we'll do an independent practice. So by then they should know what the target is and they should have reached it by then. And if not, they will either be practicing on their own if they really get it. And if they don't, I actually have a little small group or maybe I'll walk around and help those kids specifically, but this is where they do more stuff on their own. Okay, that's how I lay out a typical lesson plan. Of course, some subjects, it might be a little bit different the way it's laid out, but overall for a typical lesson, that is the way I would do it. So if you guys have something that works for you, please comment down below. I would love to hear some more ideas on how other people are lesson planning as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.